Watts lovers, Brad from Brent Miller, and I have a fun one for you today. Uh, this is the one I have been waiting to have inventory of both white birch models. And today is the day I get to film this and share with you guys. So on my left, we have the SLGA009 five day spring drive movement. We'll get to the power reserve indicator on the back shortly. And on my right, we have the SLGH005 with the lovely 80 hour high beat movement. And so looking at both these real quick case dimensions, very similar. Uh, both of them I measured uh, from roughly the two to the eight uh, at 40.2, exactly both of them, uh, right on 40.2. So the case is the same. However, the SLGA um, on my left here was slightly thicker. I, and I measured this a couple times to make sure. I measured it at 12.2 millimeters. So just ever so slightly thicker than the SLGH005 at 11.8. So just a little bit, I'll give you both here at the same time. Lug to lug on the 009 here on my left was 47.4 versus 47 even. So again, about a half millimeter thicker and about a half millimeter longer lug to lug on the uh, 009 spring drive movement. Uh, I have 47 millimeters on the 005 lug to lug. Both of them have lug widths of 22 millimeters, tapering to 20 meters or 20 millimeters at the deploying style clasp here. Both essentially the same bracelet, all satin brushed, uh, Grand Seiko uh, logo here on the deploying style clasp. And looking at the movements here on the um, 009 on the spring drive, again, this is the 9RA2 movement with your power reserve indicator essentially at the nine o'clock position if you think about the dial right here. Um, get the rotor out of the way. Kind of see how right there, uh, the bottom of the case back. Both have signed screw down crowns, 100 meters of water resistance. I'll show you the movements on the 005. And then I'll get the dial work out of the way here in a second. So this is the high beat which is the 9S A5, 80 hours of power reserve. Both movements are absolutely gorgeous. And the reason this one um, is sized, uh, obviously if you're looking at this, the weight on these, I did weigh both of these and it was very close. The 009, I weighed at 177.1 grams. And the 005, I weighed at 175.4. So just about a two gram difference. Um, Unfortunately, the 005 is spoken for. So this bracelet has been sized. It will be leaving today, going into a new owner who I hope enjoys wearing it. Um, the 009 does remain available as of uh, today, um, posting this video. So um, if you're interested, you could email me, brad at brentlmiller.com. Uh, always happy to help out. Um, but let's take a look at these two dials. The texture to, to my eye is basically identical to my eye, the texture. However, the 005 does have more of a silver tone to it. Uh, I get more white out of the 009. I will throw these both on, quick wrist shot, and uh, I'll give you a quick loom, and we'll wrap this video up. So again, this is the 009. I have a six and three quarter inch wrist for reference. And this one is currently available. Both of them, uh, I should obviously uh, say too, the price is the exact same. Both of these retail at 9,100.
So pricing is not going to uh, impact your decision. So really in the comment section, let me know which white birch you prefer. Do you like the high beat? Do you prefer the spring drive, the extra power reserve? Um, you know, again, very similar size. This one was already sized for the new owner. So just show you a quick wrist shot.